So, you guys just attend classes here like regular students? And mom managed to set this all up? <laughs> How does this affect your education at Hexide? It's kind of tough to explain. This being a brand new program. As, as for your mom, well, the way dad tells it, she practically took control of that PCA meeting. Principal Pump had reservations, but she had some leverage in the form of a certain dissection incident. <laughs> Funny how that all worked out, huh? Yeah, I still regret my part in that, but I can't argue with the results. <laughs> anyway, the main argument for the Hexide Exchange Program was about Bellows and Ida. With her constant visit to the human realm, Ida kind of exposed us to humankind. Again, no complaints from me, but the poor. This posed a risk to witches and demons. Camilla figured out that the world would inevitably find out about the demon realm and the HEP would help gradually introduce us to the human realm. Then there was Bellows who managed to infiltrate the boiling isles and take it over. It was unanimously decided that we should educate ourselves about humans to avoid repeating history, mainly so we can accommodate more loses and fewer Phillips. More loses? Are you no longer satisfied with the one? <laughs> I mean... More of you would be nice, that is, more people like you, not like some fantasy about, um, not, not, not that I've, I've, I've ever had. <laughs> mm hmm And anyway, we're doing general studies here, but we're also specializing in specific classes. Then we submit reports of what we learned to the faculty at Hexide. Bosha is taking up school sports and prepping demonstrations for the students back in Bonsborough. Okay, this basketball sounds more intense than rugby. Getting to use so many weapons? So hardcore! Space Jam, the novel. Ed immediately showed an interest in chemistry. He's curious about how to apply that subject to his potion studies. Cups? Ounces? Pins? What the heck is with these weird measurements? I thought humans knew about the metric system. Skara is taking art and music classes. She's basically spearheading reports on the nuances and beauty of human culture. Smiley cat. Smiley cat. What are they feeding you? There's no equivalent of peacekeeping classes, so Vinny is learning about healing through health and biology classes. Em is assisting her. She insisted that these classes were too much work for one witch. Of course, she just wants to hang out with her crush. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's how you... <laughs> Mycohondria is the powerhouse of the South. Not in humans. <laughs> Must run the family, huh? <laughs> Moving on, Matt is taking shop classes to learn about human construction magic. He's also here as a representative of the Human Appreciation Society. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. What about Gus and Willow? Didn't they want to take part in this? 
Actually, Gus is playing an important part in the program. He's searching for humans who have experience with inter-realm travel to invite them to attend Hexide. <sighs> Willow wanted to be here, but she has her hands full trying to bring Flyer Derby to Glandus and Street Epiderm. And you, Ams? What's your area of study? Well, it all looked interesting. So, I thought I'd try a bit of everything. I guess I was inspired by a legendary Hexite student. Aww, Ams. Plus, I thought I'd bring my own brand of human appreciation. Oh! What about Hunter? <laughs> he was supposed to finally enroll in Hexite this year, but I didn't hear back from him yet. <laughs> well, he did get in, but... So, you know how he has no natural magic ability besides the super speed he got from Flapjack? Right? And you remember the stipulations for the entrance exam? Yeah, but it shouldn't be an issue as long as he has Glyph magic. Oh no. Alright class, time to recite our rooms. <laughs> Chrome, Zix, Elgrim, Xenomine. <laughs> it's not all bad though. She's still eligible to play Flyer Derby. <laughs> one chapter of my life is over and a new one begins. That's what I told myself after defeating Bellows. And yet, I feel like I'm back where I started. Back in the place where everyone hates me. Where I'm just the screw up that gets sent to the principal's office on a daily basis. <laughs> no Titan, no magic. Even with Stream Bean, I feel like I can't call myself a witch. I can't even go back to Hexide. Mom said I need to acquire some real world skills. I know what she meant, but the way she phrased it implied that the demon realm isn't real. But it is real. It's more real to me than this place ever was. If it weren't for Mom and V, I'd leave the human realm behind me in a heartbeat. It's funny, V isn't even from the human realm and she fits in here better than I ever could. Of course, I do better at Hexide, so we're kind of like sisters in that way. Being here has become so depressing. I've sincerely become nostalgic. For the days when I worried my locker might eat me. Heck, I miss everything about Hexide. The screaming bells, the weird food, the occasional pixie infestation. But mostly, I miss my friends. Willow, Gus, Beanie, 
Amira, Patrick, Turbo, Marcus, Hunter, Scara. <laughs> I'll even take Bosha over any human here. But most of all, I miss um Move it or lose it, Scarface. These halls are for walking, not moping. Stick your emo stick somewhere else. Seriously. I thought that special comp was supposed to fix head cases like you. But somehow you came back even more unbearable. Ach, I suppose you would be the authority on all things unbearable. When are you gonna get it through that dumb? Beanie of yours that nobody wants you here, loser. We were all better off not putting up with your weirdness. Maybe the next time they ship you off to crazy camp, have the good sense to stay there. What? And give up all this? You really want to get smart with me, no brainer. One way or another, we're gonna make you alert your place. Hey! Huh? I just met you for so you're entitled to one warning. Stay away from my lose. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Sweet potato! What? Holy Titan, I can't believe you're here! But whatever, I'm just so happy to see you! Me too, I actually have something I wanted to tell you about. But then I saw you in trouble and. Excuse me, but. Who invited you to this discussion? And you realize that's the looseness seat that you're hugging, right? I hope you had your crazy shots. What a peculiar choice of last words. Uh, you gonna let her talk to you like that, Sky? Hmm? And for your waffly limited information, I am perfectly aware of who I'm hugging. I wouldn't be such an awesome girlfriend if I wasn't. Girlfriend? You actually want to date this screwloose? Not the best way to make a first impression around here. I remember asking for your opinion. And if you insult or lose one more time, my first impression is gonna be a footprint in your fundament. And make sure to let everyone here know that Luz Nocida is off limits try anything with her you answer to me wow okay you two must have met at the same dance camp because i don't think you realize what you're getting into here are you kidding me humor uh, I, I mean loose these drags are giving you such a hard time? Seriously? You wanna let me get away with anything like that at Hexide? Hey cutie! What's up, Luz? Amity left us in the dust before we could get ready. If these guys are bothering you, we can give you a hand. Oh! Let's challenge him to a rugby match. 
Yeah, well, we were on our way to class anyway. You guys, it's so awesome. You're here, but why? You didn't hear, Louis? Yeah, we all go to this new school now. Say what? Yep. We're learning human stuff. You can thank your mom for that. It was her idea and the PCA approved. I mean, is this for real? It sure is. And your principal assigned you to be our chaperone. You know, when Camila told him to. You're looking at the members of the all new Hexide Exchange Program. Wow! Why is it we don't come here more often, Louis? The view from up here is awesome. Mm hmm. We picked a good night to come here too. It's such a beautiful evening. I could watch the stars for hours. Couldn't you? Mm, sure could. Oh, would you look at that? Those armies are ravaging the land and the titan is springing to life. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm really listening. Amity and I conquer that it's a beautiful night hmm <laughs> snail for your thoughts huh uh oh wow did you see that it looked like um airplanes airplanes uh yeah, didn't you see them in the night sky? Maybe I don't get human slang, but I'm pretty sure those are shooting stars. Did you want to make a wish right now? Nah, I'm good. All right, Nasita, spill it. What's bothering you? <laughs> B bothering me? <laughs> uh, why would you, well, why would anything be bothering me? That's just silly. Come on, I've gone through enough emotional withdrawal to know it when I see it, and to know that it does absolutely no good. No withdrawal here. I am an open book with only happy chapters be honest if this situation were reversed would you be satisfied with that answer <sighs> okay it's just i'm scared that you'll hate me for thinking this but Ever since that last portal attempt and talking with my mom, I've been thinking... I mean... I tried... I took the time to reflect on my life... My whole life and... I found that... After all the time I spent here, I'm not sure, just, I don't want to go back to the human realm. What? I know, I know, you guys have been helping me and it just took some hubris to make it possible for me to at least see my mom and, and, like an idiot, I threw it all away because I can't help being so selfish and stupid. 
I'm so sorry I'm like this. Lose! Lose, it's okay. No one. I had to go back and drag you into my own problems. Lose, you didn't drag anybody. We all helped be. Why do I have to be such a burden on everyone I love? You're not, I promise you're not a burden to. I'm just so stupid, I... Luz! You're not stupid! You didn't even ask for help with the portal! We all chose to help out because we wanted to. It's your decision whether or not you want to go home. And you're not obliged to anyone else. <laughs> Seriously, if you're having second thoughts about going back, you shouldn't keep them to yourself. But I have to admit, I'm confused about why you don't want to go back. Didn't you want to go home to be with your mom? I, I did. I mean, I do. But when we last spoke, she made me promise to stay in the human realm when I get back. I don't even know what to do about that. And then there's V. Wait, the basil silk? But doesn't your mom know the truth about her? Yeah, but... Mom wouldn't turn her away if she has nowhere else to go. She's just like that. What bothers me is how seamlessly V took over my life. If I, if I hadn't bothered with making a portal, Mom would never know I was gone. We don't know that for sure. And your mom seems to really want you back. If she made you promise to stay, why would she? She already has the daughter she always wanted. One that doesn't have her head in the clouds. One that isn't always getting in trouble. One, one that can actually make some real human friends. Wait, are you telling me that you had trouble making friends? You? Lose? Unable to make friends? I am not trying to call you a liar, it's just... Judging by your track record at Hexide, I can't help but feel skeptical. When it comes to humans, I'm actually incredibly unpopular, to say the least. And as bad as bullying can be at Hexide, humans can be even worse. Even more cruel. Or at least that's how it was for me at my old school. Heck. I even stuck out more at my old school than I did at the hex side. And if you didn't fit in, you would quickly become a target. I could never stand for that kind of behavior. And so, I often took a stand against it, making myself an even bigger target. Every day, I could look forward to getting made fun of, having my lunch stolen, my locker vandalized, or stuff thrown at me. Of course, the name calling was that always stuck with me. Loser, screw loose, no brainer, nonsense. They were like brands seared into me, telling everyone else to 
reject or stay away from me. <laughs> Loser. See you at school, loser. LOL. <laughs> then one day I was outed for liking girls. That's when things really got bad. <sighs> when you... Wait. People get made fun of for that kind of thing in the human realm? Uh, among other things, yeah. I mean, why would anyone... It's absurd! Even Bosha wouldn't think to stoop that low. How would you even make fun of that? It just makes no sense. Believe me, I'd rather go to a whole school of Boshas. And go back to my old school even a whole world away I still have nightmares about that place I often lie awake unable to move some days even my mom couldn't help me I was too afraid to even get out of bed some days some days, I didn't want to wake up at all. Oh, that is it. Huh? <laughs> As your girlfriend, I won't let you set foot in the human realm without my protection. And if any human gets out of line with you, I'll have ghost. Use them as a scratching post. Huh? Oh, you're so cute when you're vengeful. Uh, yeah, yeah. And if any bullies bang up on you, they'll face an abomination army. Their homes will be all wash in purple. And. We'll laugh like circus clowns while they stream for mer- <laughs> Huh? Uh, yeah, my, I'm <laughs> Amiri, I- Ah! Uh, uh, oh no 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 I wasn't really going to sink any abominations on anybody! I- uh, <laughs> I was just joking. You know, mostly. No, I know. I just. It's just not fair. For the first time in my life, I found a place where I could fit in. <laughs> where, where I made real friends. <laughs> People who like me for who I am <laughs> now. I do want to see me mama again, uh, but why does that have to mean I have to leave the um, to <laughs> to leave you? The best thing to ever happen to me. I... I can't do it. Uh, I, I... I can't leave you. I... I... I don't want to lose you, Amiri. I... I don't ever want to lose... I don't want to... Lose... You. I... Don't want to lose you either. <sighs> hey, Luz. Mm. Do you ever want to think about how we got to where we are right now? Hmm? 
I mean, I like how we all got here from where we started. How we became what we are right now. You... You mean like how we're all supposedly created by a... By some supreme being in their image? Oh, well, I, I guess I can't vouch for human origins, but a while back when I was really stressed out, Malthus would say I should think of how miraculous it is to even feel stress. I never fully understood what he meant, but it did help snap me out of my bad mood by thinking about what he meant. So, whenever I was overwhelmed by stress from my parents or school or or guilt over how I used to treat Willow, I'd hide myself away and just think on Malfi's words as everything just melted away. And one day, something came to me i started thinking about witches and demons and how our ancestors rose from the rotting flesh of the titan how we went from simple organisms to complex beings that could accomplish all sort of things and not just magic but the ability to think and to feel everyday things that we take for granted i'm not sure if it's what mafis meant but it did give me a new perspective and things about how our ancestors overcame impossible odds how far we've come from our beginnings as parasites on corpses in a boiling sea and then there's the human realm itself what are the chances that an entire world exists beyond the demon realm filled with equally complex beings? People that could think and feel like witches do? Even more unlikely is that a door that connects the two worlds exists. And how incredible is it that a human found that door? And that human could survive in a harsh environment that, no, not just survive, but thrive in a world that's not her own. And what's most extraordinary of all is that this awesome human from another world who brightened the lives of so many that she would take such a special interest in me of all people on the boiling isles that she will enrich my own life in ways i could never dream that she could help me reconnect with willow or give me the confidence to stand up to my parents that she could make me feel so happy and be the best thing to ever happen to me that she feels the same way about me and we would be dating it's more than i could ever hope for <laughs> Luz, i would like nothing more right now than to assure you that everything is going to be all right to just hold you close and say the right words that can make you feel better but i don't know what the future holds you could be able to stay here in the demon realm. You and I could end up stuck in the human realm or some different world entirely. The whole day of unity thing could happen or, or our entire universe could be wiped out by some otherworldly being who arbitrarily decided that we aren't worthy or whatever. My point is, Although I have no idea what's in store for us, there are two things that I am totally certain of. Huh? 
The first thing is that this moment, here and now, is all ours. We made it happen. It will always have happened. And nothing can take that from us. We overcame such staggering odds to find each other and create a moment that even now seems impossible. But here we are. Thank you, Luz, for helping to create this miracle with me. And second, if something does happen where we end up in separate realms, I promise to do everything in my power to make it back to you. And I don't care if I have to bleed the titan dry to do it. <laughs> um, what? Oh, did I really say something wrong this time? No, Amiri. <laughs> you couldn't have said it more right. <laughs> um, Luz. I'm so very sorry, Amiri. <laughs> it's okay. I'll burn the shirt when I get home. Okay, first of all, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was really fun making this. and I know human school just started today, but I miss Luz already. I wish I could have gone with her to protect her. I know what you mean, Amiri. I wouldn't have minded substituting for her to see Masha. Uh, I mean, to see if Masha got suspicious at Luz's behavior. <laughs> Luz seems so anxious about going to that school. Will she really be okay there? I wish I could say for certain, but she's been blaming herself for not getting your portal working. Frankly, she could use the distraction. Hmm. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. I remember hearing of a Halloween festival coming in a couple of months. It seems to involve costumes. And I thought I could go as the Hecate to her Azura. Huh? Oh, cariño. That's so thoughtful. I'm sure Luz would love that. <laughs> well, to be honest, I always thought that I was more of an Azura than her, but I have no problem relinquishing the role if it means that Luz is happy. <laughs> Amity as Azura? <laughs> really? Wait, why is that so funny? Well... Azura's a good guy, and Hecate is a reinformed villain, right? Luz definitely fits the good guy role more consistently out of the two of you. He's got a point. I mean, Azura wouldn't have reacted the way you did when Luz first came to Exide disguised as an abomination. And let's not forget what happened after we knew I had Principal Bump. Oh! Try to dissect Luz. Yes, I'm aware of the whole fake abomination incident. Wait, Luz already told you? No, Amiri told me all about it herself. In fact, Amiri decided to open up about her entire history with Luz during your second night here. For reasons I can't understand. She was very... But 
I didn't know she was a human at first, and I feel horrible for that and for the way to steal and for my parents' behavior and accidentally parting Willow's mind and letting Louis fight Grom in my place and... Forthcoming? For what it's worth, Amity, I've always thought one of the most heroic things you can do is confront the mistakes you make in life and learn from them to do better. That kind of growth is a common ethos of all protagonists. You... you really think so? I mean, I don't know much about Azura, but take another popular fictional series like Say, I don't know, Cosmic Frontier? Captain Avery was extremely confrontational and made a lot of mistakes before he grew into his role. As the show's hero. Hmm. Oh, you know, so I'm told. <laughs> Still, Lou seems more the heroic type. It's not like she ever did anything to you, Amity. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a time or two when she kind of made things difficult. But we worked through it. We worked through it all. And I don't think she'd want me to reopen old wounds. Amiri, I know you're holding back for Louis's sake, but being honest means no omissions. Um, well, she did help Willow cheat in abomination class, which cost me my top student badge. Then there was the witch's duel, when she embarrassed me in front of a crowd. She also vandalized the library I work at with Ed and M, then helped them to steal my diary. She almost got me killed by my favorite children's book character. Almost got my siblings eaten by a slither beast. Cost me my job at the library. And cost me the Bonesboro Brawl Championship. Still, like I said, we put it behind us, just like Azura and Hecate did. Luz practically had her own redemption arc during her time in the Demon Realm. Maybe, but Luz also kept better company than you used to. I mean, you were forced to, but look at the rest of us. There's no villain in this crowd. Okay, no, I'm not perfect by any means, but no way do any of you get to judge me with impunity. I, I, you used Luz to cheat in school after you flung her around in a blind rage. You also got her thrown off a cliff all because you wanted to show me up at the moonlight conjuring you lied to her about her ban from hexite being lifted so you could show her off to the has and got her toes into the carnivorous detention pit oh you um you heard about that uh -huh. You literally stole her identity, lied to her mom, tried to throw out her possessions, and to basically supplant her. I mean, of course it sounds bad if you put it that way. And you. <laughs> So let's just overlook all the atrocities you committed during your tenure as the Golden Guard, which everyone seems eager to do for some reason. 
Unlike the rest of us, you actively tried to kill Luz multiple times. You kidnapped King to force her to kill an innocent Sakyo Dooms. You also directly threatened her to force me to give up the portal key, hindering her efforts to find her way home. But yeah, I am the worst for trying to bust her for cheating before I even knew who or what she was. I don't deny the mistakes I've made and not a day goes by that I don't reflect on the consequences of my actions. But out of all the witches and demons in this room, I can at least say that I'm the only one who never deceived Luz or used her for my own selfish gain. So yeah, I hope you don't hurt yourselves falling off your high snorses. At least I didn't stomp on King's cupcake.